Welcome to Zagreb, Croatia, home of Crow Team, the genius minds behind Sirius Sam and the Talos Principle. This is Admir, one of the original Crow Team. Hi. Crow Team HQ. Yeah. We're going to go and have a look. Okay, come on in. So we're in the glamorous parking garage of uh, Crow Team HQ. But we're not staying here, are we? Where no, are we going? No, no. To Dubrovnik. Beautiful. Why are we going to Dubrovnik? It will be a, a kind of uh, a reboot, uh, game, game developer conference, very nice. So this is a big Croatian game development thing, right? The yeah. reboot festival? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We all will be. Worlds. Worlds. World, world yeah, famous. Yeah, no reboot. Dubrovnik reboot. Yeah. We made it. In there. That's it. Uh, Good driving, Dean. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Tell me about reboot. I don't know. We are here in one of the most beautiful parts of the world, in my opinion. It's Damir, which is uh, you know organizing the reboot. Uh, it works so well, and so many amazing speakers, people here, and everybody that visited reboot once mm. comes back and brings his own friends. So it's getting bigger and bigger every year. I think. Everybody from Crow Team is here, so like 50 people. It's like a weekend party for yeah, Crow Team, it's, it's team it's, building. Yeah, it's kind of a team building and it's our home turf, you know. Yeah. We are here also to show people how proud we are of our country and what we made. What was your role this year? Because you've, you've done something a bit special this year. Yeah, I did a keynote and I dedicated the keynote to game developers and talk a little bit about what we do and why we do it. You were introduced as a as a local industry legend. Well, I don't know how <laughs> what to say about that. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I was very on. flattered. At Live least. up to the legend status. A legend, he's a legend. <laughs> but what's what's Crow Team's involvement in Reboot then? What's your well, role here? Well, I think that you know Damir knows how old and then like, let's say I don't know in Croatia we are kind of like the biggest and best known. I don't know. Well, you're like the granddads of Croatian yeah, yeah, actually, game Yeah, actually they call me like. Grandpa of, of Croatian game development. But oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I hit a nail yeah. on the head, got it. <laughs> Our dream is to, to, to have as many people working on uh, game development, on games, because, you know, we like happy people, and, and working in game development makes you happy. Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Damir, for inviting me here. I have to say I'm very excited to be here, and uh, it's always great to talk in front of a large audience of game developers and other people from the games industry. Crow Team started when? Ooh, I actually don't know, something like 25, 27 years ago. It was a dream to live out from uh, making games, which we really love to play. We worked like crazy for several years and then it all took off. Most of us were really close friends, the best friends. You're, strong, you're a strong family unit. I mean... Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> what has kept you at Crow Team for such a long time? Well, it was never boring. It was always very interesting and we are always making great stuff. And every, always the next project that we are working on that right now is always something very interesting and then when we do that there's always the plan for the next one so yeah. why would we why would we do anything else you're a, you're a tight crew as well people don't tend to leave much do yeah they? well there are several reasons for that i think yeah one is that we are good friends and we, we are making great stuff so why would you want to leave but uh, reality is also that Especially in Croatia, we were we have nowhere to live, you know, <laughs> because uh, we were long time the only game developer, at least mm. only serious uh, game developer in in Croatia. So I've been working as a Crow Team's music composer, sound designer for the past 18 years. So I was also first person shooter freak. I love playing these games. Yeah. And when I first saw Serious Sam, it was awesome. Yeah. I loved it every second of it and the guys were a little bit 
scared, you know, showing the games to someone else. And when they saw how excited I was, it was like we bonded even more. So you, were, you were there bringing the, bring the music, but the good vibes on Serious yeah, Sound that, as well. That's what they say. What is the uh, spirit of Crow Team? It's kind of two opposites. It's professional and relaxed. The first rule of Crow Team, the game that we make, we must love it ourselves. Yeah. With all our hearts. You've been together for, for so long. Do you ever have little fights? You always have fights, right? <laughs> yeah. Without fights, there's no love. When you first started, your first game was what? A clone of Sokoban logic puzzle, puzzle logic game. It was uh, proof that we know how to make finish a game. Mm -hmm. And then we agreed to make a football game, Football Glory, back then in, on, a, on the Amiga. And uh, yeah, it was a pretty big success at the time. We earned some money, so we, it, it was a sign that we could do it. After we made the, the soccer game and ship it, the Amiga market disappeared. And then we had to switch over and decide. In the end, we decided we we're going to make a first person shooter. Mm. It sounds like pretty straightforward, but we worked for like seven years on it. We were all at the university back, back then, and we used to work in our spare time and during the holidays and everything, so it took a lot of time. Some people actually got drafted into the army and they came back, and we were still working on the game. Back in that time, there was no digital distribution, and if you want to ship something, you had to go to a publisher, and uh, we were trying to find one. No one was interested. So it was really weird because we, we thought, this really, guys, this is really good. Like, you, you believed in the game, right? You, you well, thought this was everybody, a good Everybody tried it, game. you know, said it's really good. Yeah. And, 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 and the teams that were supposed to, you know, like, I recognize good projects, they still say no. So it was like, what? What? You know, like, why? What's going on? And we were on the edge of uh, actually going against things, uh, you know, like, like uh, almost being there. But then yeah. then inter internet came in and we created a demo and we put it on the internet and everything exploded. Hey, where did the name come from? Actually, it is uh, our CEOs, yeah. Serious Sam, and actually, I don't know. I was just told how the game will be called. First, when I heard the name, it's. I was wrong, you know, Serious Sam. Are you serious? Really? Are you serious? Mm. Honestly. But the CEO, Roman, was so into it, you know, he managed to pass this infectious uh, vibe, you know. It's going to be a good yeah. name, it's going to be a good name. And it ended up one of the most memorable names yeah. in the first person shooter genre. So I guess he was right. Reboot Tourist Tour of Dubrovnik. This place is amazing. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's better than, better than the LACC at E3, right? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> when we were driving here from Zagreb, yeah. I was looking at the scenery and thinking, uh, I feel like now I understand where the, the look for yeah. Talos principle came yeah, from. Yeah. When we were working on the Talos, uh, there were two couple of guys to uh, old Roman uh, trade post and yeah. mine. And in Croatia? Just, yeah, near the split. Right. And they took a lot of pictures and we scanned all those uh, right. remains remains of the of the trade post. Where did the Talos principle come from? It came out of nowhere practically because we didn't start working on Talos principle, we started working on Sirius M4. We tried to address one complaint from part of our audience where they said in Sirius M games you only shoot, 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 you do nothing else. We, we had some brainstorming and we, we had a few ideas what we, could we do and I made uh, much more complex puzzles. The thing was that uh, the, the more complicated puzzle was Mm -hmm. uh, the more fun it was uh, to play. But um, those more complicated uh, puzzles were sold for, from 15 minutes to half an hour. Yeah. And it was obvious that we cannot implement that in Series M4. But we had something very interesting on our hands. So that became the Talos principle. Yeah. <laughs> another legend was born. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Did it feel good when the Talos principle came out and that was something oh, very yes. different for you guys? Yes, and yes, yes. I don't know how to say. We were not that confident. We were not sure what's going to happen. Mm. We thought maybe we were going to ship it and everyone's going to say that it's not worth it. And uh, we were a bit scared of that. But when people started giving good good feedback, then we were like, okay, it's great. It did. Not only was it a great game, but it was a very successful. Yeah, well. that, that was really surprising. We didn't expect that. But at the end, it was a really, really huge success for us. The name, the Talos Principle, was your idea? Yes, yes, that was mine. Um, I'm part 
Greek, grew up in Greece, uh, and I remembered that particular bit of mythology. I found it very fascinating because Talos is sort of a robot, and I thought that would be an interesting uh, element. Did you do the music for Talos as well? Yes. Now that, that, must have <laughs> asked, that must have been a different question. How did you approach that? That is a completely different thing than uh, Sirius Sam. It's, uh, I mean, the first thing we tried for Talos is the Sirius Sam music. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we had, we had it. We just put some of the Sirius Sam stuff inside, and since the Sirius Sam music is heavily rhythm yeah. oriented, it's based on drums, stuff like this. So yeah. the first rule we established is no rhythmic patterns. You know, so. Well, you, Mr. Rhythm Man, that must have been a challenge for you. I bet you were like, <laughs> oh shit, how the so hell do I do that? They, they just took <laughs> away my. my, my yeah. Most precious tool, you know, the rhythm. Did you come away from that going, wow, I it's can do always, it? I mean, doing music for me is always fun, but uh, doing music for Talos was challenging, more than fun. Are you still there? So what's the end game with VR then? What, what, why all this investment? First time when I played games, it was so excited, right? Yeah, that was, yeah, yeah. Then when it 3D came, so that, that was like mind blowing, right? And, and this was the third time that I actually felt something really, really exciting about that. We were always implementing new technologies, right? That's something yeah. that we did. And then I made, created a demo. I gave it to the people and people were, all people were amazed. I would really like to have an, a best available arcade game in VR. I mm. thought that we can do it. I think that we actually did it with, yeah. with the last hope. And of course, the natural extension was that you know, people demanded and also we felt that it would be nice to play other curtain games in VR. People would be surprised how, how much you have to do to create a VR game. It's a big effort. I noticed that Croatia likes soccer, right? There's, there's exactly. quite a lot of football fans here. Actually, yeah. we won the tournament last year, so we need to defend the, the title this year. So it will be that's gonna be That's going to yeah. be a fight. That will be, that will be interesting. Here comes the Sam, a really serious man. Good team! Run away as fast as you can, or otherwise he'll turn you into hell. Name is Serious Sam, the name that's called again. Did Pro Team win or lose that one? I don't know. Oh, of course, it was, it was a win. It was a clear win. victory. I think that. Convince um, someone. It was definitely a win. We have not mentioned any names, but it was okay. a win. There was a win. There was a win. What's going to happen in Serious Sam 4? Oh well, <laughs> obviously I can't say much. Big levels, large amount of enemies, mm -hmm. new inventive stuff and, and new ways to, to attack the player, <laughs> new ways for the player to fight back. The Talos principle was born out of a mechanic that was originally for Sirius Sam 4, so are you bringing any of the Talos principle into Sirius Sam? We will probably include some things from the Talos principle and we will probably have something uh, even more complex, but probably in some secret area or something. Oh yeah, not on the main path. Some tasty uh, Easter eggs for the yeah, Talos fans. Yeah, for, for okay. some, some optional stuff, uh, but we won't overdo it. You know, yeah. we, we know what uh, Serious Sam stands for, what uh, our fans uh, and community is expecting from us, and we will deliver. So where are you going to take this for Sam for then? I think we are going to do a blockbuster thing this yeah. time. We're going to keep it uh, with heavy beats, the largest drums that you can hear. You know, they're just pounding away and I think your heart is going to beat. <laughs> the pump is going to explode yeah. out of the chest when this rhythm started. This is Juro. This is his show. How'd it go? It went really well this year. Like You've got some pretty big names from all over the place come here. I would say we have one of the best speaker lineups out there, like not just in Europe, but even in the world. What are Crow Team really like? What do they, how they are like? Yeah, what are they wow. like? Wow. <laughs> uh, well, Crow Team, they're very complicated. Uh, from the outside, they look like they have a very hard shell. Like they're really hard to reach. Like they're tough guys, but Actually, under the shell, there are those soft, warm and cuddly teddy bears, very emotional. If they were not here, the event itself would have never been as big as this. A little round of applause for Jura from Reboot here. Thank you.
Whenever we release something new, every time, the first question is very serious and for. Of course and it is. Of course, yeah, and, and I completely understand the fans, but uh, my saying is, please wait a bit more, it's gonna be worth it.